What's up people, today I'm going to start a new course about basic WordPress plugin development. Now this course will be divided into several parts, so stick with me and let's get started. Alright guys, so as you can already see I installed WordPress and named it as learn-wp and right now I'm in the plugins directory and here I created a folder and named it my plugin now if you want to you know learn how to install wordpress with wpcli you can watch my previous video and the link should be on the upper right corner in the suggested video link so as you can see my wordpress is running on localhost port 9000 now the url is different because i defined when i installed wpcli uh, with wpcli and defined the port there now if you uh, install WordPress manually, uh, you can have a URL like localhost slash learnwp, so that will do as well. Let's open our code with our favorite editor, I am using VS Code. So let's open it. Uh, here as you can see, uh, I do have an empty folder, nothing is there. Now let's create a f uh, file and named it my plugin dot php now this is the main entry file for the plugin so let's open php tag and do some necessary comments so that wordpress can understand that this is a plugin so let's do that first we need to say the plugin name and the plugin name is my plugin and then the plugin URI let's name it HTTP my plugin dot com and then the author let's say Ruby name author URI named it HTTP let's say ruby.me and the version name number 1.0.0 and the text domain Let's say my plugin. Now, this is the basic requirement that's gonna need you, or uh, that's gonna need the WordPress to understand. Okay, this is a plugin. So let's test that out. Let's uh, go to the backend. There it is. Let's uh, navigate into plugins, install plugins. And here, as you can see, we do have. Uh, a plugin that is not active right now so there is something is missing the description is missing so let's add the description as well so let's go and add description say simple plugin to learn alright so let's head over into the backend again and hit refresh there you can see the description has been added and right now if we click on activate the theme will be activated so there it is my theme is now activated the next step is to prevent this file from accessing directly from the outside or accessing directly from the URL so for this we need to you know check if the absolute path is defined or not so let's do define is not 
then exit and end if and let's say so now what it's gonna do it's gonna prevent this file from the direct access all right so let's define some constant now so that we can use those things later let's define Now it's always good to use prefix of your plugin's name because it's gonna be unique and that's why it's, it will never conflict with the other ones. So okay, let's do plugin dir path and find the file URL and let's define another one and it should be my plugin URL and it should be plugins URL with train slash All right. Here, the first one is for inclu including uh, the files directly, and the later one is a relative path for including style sheets or image and uh, this kind of things. So we have defined this so that we can use those uh, uh, constants later. That gonna make our life easier. So this is it. This is how you can start you know creating plugins in your WordPress in the next episode we are going to talk about how we can add custom meta box in post or pages so see you in the next episode